thirsty, 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 thirsty. Yawn. Okay, so yesterday I got a message on Instagram from this guy that I've known for like years now. And he was like, oh, thirsty photo again, thirsty photo again, just because I put a torso picture of myself up. And again, I have to always just roll my eyes and be just like, so yeah, I get the fact that if you are going to put stuff online, you might get a little bit of backlash and you might get comments, you might get the likes, and you also might get the dislikes. Obviously, there isn't a dislike button, but people sure as hell love to have a little comment on if people are thirsty or not. I really do not like the word thirsty because it's like I'm gagging for it, I'm dehydrated for attention, like it's just one of those things where it's just a little bit boring and it's constantly like, oh someone's thirsty today, oh someone's thirsty and ugh, I mean is it thirsty because someone likes to put on their gym process, progress or something or it's like what defines it? because I see way worse photographs of people gymming it, which aren't worse actually, they're actually great. Like to, I actually like applaud people who can put up really great pictures of their body and the transition and the literally the work that's gone into it. So not really thirsty, just more of like kind of proud of what people can accomplish. And if they want to put it on social media, I think it's a great way because back in the day we didn't have that. We had to probably take a picture on our disposable cameras, go to Boots, print them out and then put them in a frame and then go, that's a bit weird if you were going to do that. But now we've got our own social media accounts and obviously people do it for their own like gain, like their careers or their Instagram models and that's great. Rest assured, I'm not an Instagram model at all. I'm just a normal person who actually literally puts topless pictures of myself, maybe a little bit crude, maybe a little bit um, risque, um, as um, Benito's mum said they were. Uh, but I also put food up, places, friends, and I just a little, I don't know. Yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of attention every now and again. It's nice to get the likes, but I'm not all about that. I'm not all about gagging for that. I have a lot of validation in myself, and I have a lot of validation in my friendships, and yeah, I have that. Obviously, you are putting things up in a world where your validation is by strangers, but I mean, if it works, it works. If it makes you smile, if you get a comment or if you get a like and it's it makes your day, then fuck you who's actually saying thirsty this, thirsty that. Like, what's so thirsty about putting a picture up? I mean, what? I also remember the first time I started putting up um, pictures of my body. Um, I was really super skinny, really to the point where, because I used to have an eating disorder, so when that kind of conquered itself and after I felt better and then I was just slim all the time, I remember moving back home and for a good two years I like went to the gym like four or five times a week, every morning, maybe in the evenings, really dedicated myself, really actually looked up on tutorials on YouTube, tutorials on Instagram so everything was literally at my disposal because of social media so if it wasn't for the thirst at people showing off how they do their training techniques I wouldn't be quite in the know of how to use things in the gym thus making you feel like if you don't know what to do at the gym you don't go to the gym because some people do have this anxiety and this whole like shit I don't know what to do in there I don't know where to start because oh uh, yeah see yeah, because to be fair, in London, not a lot of people help you. Like, it's very in there, them for themselves, kind of working their body, kind of a little bit scared of actually asking someone how to use some apparatus or equipment. So, yeah, it's one of those things. But but anyways, I started putting it online. I put it, so, I think I asked, what, put it on Instagram and just like going, wow, actually, there is a difference from when I started to like after six months, after a year. And I was really, really proud of it. And then obviously I start because I met someone and then um, I'm going to literally get back into it. So um, to have that validation from others, I don't see a really a big problem in it. So it's not really thirsty and you don't really know the backstory. You could have really, really skinny people who have actually become muscular and they're actually vibing for it and loving life. And you may have really like bigger people who've lost the weight and then they become toned or even just slim. So you really got to be careful with which word you're choosing. And yes, I know if you put something up online, you're subject to everything, negativity or positivity. And obviously it's creativ creativity versus criticism and criticism versus creativity. So I know all that. But literally, back off people with the thirsty things, okay? So yeah, going back to the message that I got yesterday. 
this guy who I was speaking to when I was with my with one of my exes, and he was like, "Oh, how um, are you still single? Obviously, you're still single because you're still putting these thirsty photos up." And I'm like, "What? Right? Like you assume that I'm single because I still put these pictures of my torso?" Fuck. Do people actually like literally connect what they actually say and think, think and say? So I got the message and it was like, oh, uh, blah, 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 still thirsty as always, I see. And I'm like, meh, not really. There's a mixture of food, places, friends, body pictures, pretty much better than what you put up where you don't put anything about your partner or anything. You just put up pictures of your like flat and stuff. And then what was it? I put, um, so what does your boyfriend think? And I was like, hmm. What does, what does your boyfriend think? Um, my boyfriend doesn't have an opinion because my boyfriend is the one who touches the body. My boyfriend's the one who's in bed with this body. It's not like I'm putting fucking full frontal dick pics online. So what is your, what is your problem? And I've got this in, like a, for a few times now, like seeing as some people like know that I have a boyfriend and they're like, oh, how does he feel about it? How, like, oh, is he not a little bit like worried? Worried about what? I would be more worried if my partner was putting stuff up like this and then just stopped because I would feel like it slid into the DMs of people then, I personally think. So now I was like, no, he's fine about it. To be fair, it's my boyfriend's and my Instagram accounts of pictures that I put up and none of his business. He knows what's here anyway and he knows he's seen a lot more and done a lot more to it. <laughs> so I just responded because I have like history with this other guy uh, in terms of like, me and him messaging when I used to have a boyfriend and he has a boyfriend and I was like, well, I'd rather put these pictures up than arrange to meet a boy behind my boyfriend's back and ha try and have sex with them. So watch where you find that shade, bitch. But yeah, so what is the whole issue? Like, why does this whole sense of, and obviously this is a gay man as well, just the rest of the show, but I get it all the time on Twitter, not as much as Twitter, Twitter are actually a lot more likeable and they just like get on with it and appreciate it and that's it, it's because I appreciate those, they appreciate mine end of. But when did we actually have to have this dictation where a boyfriend has to allow me to do stuff? I remember I did this last time in a relationship where I actually asked my partner, oh, do you feel uncomfortable if I do still put them up? Um, and literally, rest assured, these pictures are like these and them. And I don't really see the problem. But I did ask and he was like, yeah, I feel like you're actually um, making people see something that shouldn't be theirs. And I'm like, mm -hmm think so I just think it's about my own self validation and that the fact that the gym was working out for me and I was impressed with my body it's not really about that and if I really wanted to go behind and be back and sleep with some, someone I really probably would play it the whole remove the photographs do it in the DMs or kind of do it that way I wouldn't really do it vocally and really out there on my front page wouldn't I not? Hmm. And yeah, I see countless like pictures of torsos and bums and bodies and everything on Instagram and Twitter. And like, I know some people are just like jealous and some people just want to stir the pot and they just wish you want to have like this, that one comment. But like, I'm, I'm like kind of here just to like kind of say, don't mention that one comment because like, you don't know how strong someone is behind the other side of that phone or the other side of that laptop. You, they might be having a fucking shit day and they're like, oh, someone thinks I'm thirsty, thinks what, someone thinks I'm desperate. And it's like, just be careful because you don't know the backstory of their life. You don't know the journey they're going on at the moment. So kind of just back off. So at the moment, I'm great and my body's taking shape again. And I'm going to start the gym a lot sooner than like a lot sooner because obviously after the heel broke, I couldn't really go to the gym, but it's mending. Um, so yeah, um, I just think people need to just like back off and just like focus on themselves, literally. And just like do a little bit more positivity rather than the whole like, neggy 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 bitches that everyone thinks that we are already so yeah all those comments that you get oh she's thirsty today oh she's dehydrated oh she's gagging for it rest assured i'm not any of those things so just peace of mind i'm not i just like to upload a nice torso picture of myself every now and again and if ever, every now and again is more than twice or four times a week then i fucking will do it like, for example, would you say someone's thirsty for friendships if they just put, like, hashtag friendships, hashtag friends, hashtag friends for life, but, oh, you'll call someone thirsty if you go hashtag body, hashtag torso, hashtag gay body, hashtag things like that. So, yeah, what's the difference? What makes you so more thirsty? What, what if your account was all about your dog? Are you thirsty for dogs? So, yeah, thirsty for attention for the like of the dog. So, yeah, bad choice of words, thirst. 
in the end though, if you can't handle the pictures or you have this fucking insane opinion just like just to constantly go on and on, unfriend me, unfollow me, defriend me, block me. You don't need to see these things. If you want to have that little opinion or that sarcastic fucking drowning out opinion that has lasted for about three or four years now, move on, go to someone else because it's getting so tiring and it's literally get better material because it's just like wasting my time. So yeah, that's all I wanted to do. And as you can see, I've relocated downstairs into my lounge area at the moment. So yeah, I want a bit of a change of scenery. But yeah, I just wanted to rant about that because I know, and I always like to say to people, post as much as you want, post as little clothes as possible, post everything because you know what? If that makes you feel good, then do it. Because literally we're only here once. And when my pecs are in my shoes and I can't walk properly and I'm talking to myself and I'm dribbling then maybe I actually won't, will once will, will like come across a photo and go god I look really nice there me and my friends look really nice there so yeah gotta think about that because if there's anything that might put a smile on someone's face is to look back and actually go oh wow didn't we have the best of times and we didn't give a shit about anyone else so you know what to do, if you like the video, press the like button. If you want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And feel free to comment in the comments below. So yeah, all my love. And remember, post everything because you are amazing.